This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this pixel stretch effect using GIMP. So I'll go ahead and get started here in GIMP with my image. You can use virtually any image you'd like. This effect will work with pretty much any image. So uh, once you have your image open, just make sure you right click on the layer and choose Add Alpha Channel. If it's grayed out, that means you already have one, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and starting from the upper left hand side, I'm going to click and drag and draw a rectangle going over the left half of the image here. And I'll go ahead and hit enter to create a selection and then I'll right click on that selection and go to select float. And we're going to get a floating layer from that selection right here. So I'm going to right click on that and go to two new layer. And that's basically going to split the image in half so that it's in separate layers as you see here. And once we've done that, I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm going to click and drag this half. I'm just going to hold control and just uh, click and drag this over to the left. Put this on the left side of the image right here. Maybe right about there. And I'll do the same thing with it. I'll click on this original layer down here and I'll move that to the right. So I'll just hold control and just click and drag this to the right. And this center area right here is where the stretch effect is going to come in. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the rectangle tool and I'm going to grab a very thin sliver of this selection right here going right on the edge here. If you notice where the rectangle tool is going over, it's a very thin selection right there. And I'm going to press enter again to create a selection. I'm going to right click on that selection and go to select float. And once we've done that, I'm going to right click that and go to to new layer. And if you'd like to zoom in and out like you see me doing, you can just hold control and roll up and down the mouse wheel. And now that that is a third layer in there, I'm going to go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer. And that's going to make it so that entire layer is shaped, is the same size as that sliver shape that we just created. And once we've done that, we can grab the uh, Scale tool, click on that little sliver of an image right there, and grab the side handles and just pull it out like that. Just pull it all the way to the left. Make sure you bring this image going all the way out like that. Don't don't stop it right there because it's going to be there's going to be a bit of a tapering effect where it's going to like fade the transparency and you don't want to stop it too short. So make sure to pull it all the way in there like that. Same thing with this side over here. Just pull that all the way out there. It's better to have too much than it is to have too little. So uh, if you want, just pull it to the whole width of the image. Go ahead and click scale to finalize that. And once we've done that, we can take this layer and just click and drag that to the bottom like that. And as you can see, we have completed our pixel stretch effect using GIMP. So that's how you can go about doing that. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.